afternoon, wherever you are, whenever you're watching this video. Um, I hope these messages find everyone in good health and good wealth and good spirits. This is your daily for May 2nd. Your daily uh, message for May 2nd. <clears throat> It's general, excuse me, it's general. It's not going to resonate with everyone, and that's okay. There's plenty of other content to check out here on this channel or YouTube as a whole. All right. Um, just take what fits uh, and, and leave the rest, if any of it even fits at all. Okay, cards jumping out. May 2nd, big messages. Big, easy, easy messages. People are probably seeing things um, much more clear with a much more open mind, open heart, the way these cards are um, jumping out here. Let's get one more. Good. Two more spirits said. Got it. Okay. These messages are not directed at any particular zodiac sign or any particular area of life. We just read what comes out. All right. So we've got the stars. A long journey brings rewards. The serpent. A sly and subtle approach is needed. The raven. Darkness looms on the horizon. Serendipity. Bright new prospects are on the horizon. And the moon. You will be guided through the darkness. So overall, little bit of a bumpy road but also a road that we get through right so we know i think and i think this is why they're jumping out like this we know that a long journey um is happening or is on the way but we understand that it's going to be rewarded we will need a science a sly and subtle approach okay maybe not go forward with all of your information for whatever this may whatever this um situation may be for you maybe move a little bit in stealth mode that's a message that we've been getting um for quite some time now um maybe don't give away all of your um key points or um, all of your moves, you may need to move and maneuver a little bit off grid, so to speak, um, to approach a situation and get the upper hand. Darkness looms on the horizon. It does feel like it's going to be hardships, but remember that darkness does not necessarily equate bad and evil. Sometimes we have to move around in the dark. I'm mean, seeing someone with infrared um glasses so i don't see i don't think that's gonna be a problem i think that whatever this is you're a little bit you're a little bit more aware than you have been in the past and that's going to make this uh, an, an easier navigation for you okay through this though you will have help you have bright new prospects on the horizon as well so you're looking off and see there's a lot of foresight going on here you're looking off into the future you're seeing something and also i'm seeing someone play out um, a few different scenarios which is also getting them ready i'm hearing game day baby game day um and then you will also be guided through this darkness. So I love that how darkness looms on the horizon, but you're going to be guided through it. And there's new prospects there to help. All right, Linda, I'm hearing we're lending helping hands. That comes through a lot um, with that. Um, with these messages. It's the labyrinth where she's she goes in that thing and there's all those hands. She opens the door and it's like one of the doors lead to... Uh, the castle straight to the castle and the other one leads to dun, 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 certain death <clears throat> and she chooses the door and it leads to dun, 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 certain death but it's not really um because of course it's a labyrinth and um there's all those hands and they're, she's like help and they catch her and they're like what do you mean we are helping we're helping hands did she go up or down she chose down she chose down <laughs> yeah that that's coming through like you can you're you, here's the thing though it is your choice and you do have the ability to maneuver and run through this in many different ways so fear <clears throat> guilt excuse me also these things came through in yesterday's read okay I realize that I am um, I realize that I am testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. I release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's go gro uh, growth and gratitude. I am thankful for the life and the opportunities that it presents. I love this because you've got the fear of how you're going to move. You've got maybe some feelings of guilt of whatever this situation is that you may be dealing with and you're going to release that because you know you have to grow and you're going to be thankful for the prospects and support system that it brings okay <clears throat> i cannot get this whatever this is going on with my throat i do apologize 
for all the <coughs> definitely sorry about that my little guy snoring in the background also apologies for that so much going on <laughs> thank you for being here with me thank you for all of your support okay thank you for allowing me to connect with your energy You got the hanged one. Yeah. So whatever this is, it's bringing an end to something. I do see that. It's like this, we're not, we're not hung up on a situation anymore. Okay. We're going to get balance as above. So below there's going to be some form of moderation. There's going to be some form of a thought process change, a belief system possibly change. Okay. We're not going to work on things that don't serve us anymore. And we're not going to feel guilty about what we have to leave behind. Okay. I feel like we're going in with more, um, more information than what we had in the past. We're not really going in making foolish de decisions or um, having foolish behavior or even um, being ignorant. Remember, ignorance does not mean stupid. Um, <clears throat> just means ignorant. It means you don't have any experience. As the fool doesn't have any experience. Uh, it, but but there is information. There is offer. We're going to take care of ourselves. We're going to get through this. This is actually a really good reading. We've got the Empress in the reverse position. The Two of Cups. The Six of Wands in the reverse position. The Four of Cups in the reverse position. The High Priestess. So the overall energy, what I'm looking at here, is someone that may feel like they just can't get a leg up. They just feel stuck. Like every fucking, excuse my language, five steps they take forward, <clears throat> they're knocked back four or maybe even six steps as they feel it again you've got someone or even some ones coming in new prospects are on the horizon you're, you're going to be partnered up with whoever the universe is going to put in your path the people that you need to get through this situation there's no doubt about it okay ultimately though with the six of ones in the reverse position ultimately this is a part of the journey that you have to go through yourself this is a mission that's meant for you and only you only you can cross that finish line but you will have help you will have people on the side giving you water you will have people on the side cheering you on you will have people on the side giving you um, words of motivation you will have um, people showing up for you just for support. Okay, these are things that you will have, but ultimately you have to cross the finish line. This is your mission, okay? Be sure that we're not turning our back from the universe whenever they bring these cosmic offers of people and support systems. I'm hearing extra resources as well. Make sure that we are using our intuition and turning towards our highest good so that we can accept and even receive um, what we need from the universe in this time. That's what I have for you. I love you so much. Let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed this reading. I hope this helps someone and I'll see you tomorrow.